I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and a video I have not filmed in a really long time, a pack with me vlog. Now, obviously we used to go away on trips and little cheeky weekends quite a lot. Then COVID happened and then we moved house. So whereas I used to have kind of a go bag of toiletries and chargers and things all ready to go. We haven't had that for a long time and all the stuff since we've moved house is no longer in a grab bag kind of place. So this pack with me, although we're only actually going away for one night, is kind of a pack with me and set up my packing kit kind of video because I want to do it now and do it right so that next time we go away because we've got quite a few trips lined up it'll be really easy to pack because most of the stuff will be okay, like grab, plonk it in, done and just add clothes. So if you're new around here I'd love it if you would subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7pm. I do loads of organisation content, loads of vlogs, there will be a lot more travel type vlogs coming up which are really exciting. Lots of glean with me's, hauls, that kind of thing. I hope you will love it all. The part of the reason I'm filming this video is because by filming the video and talking through it all with you guys I will know in my mind that everything is done. Now let me know if you feel the same but it's been so long since we went away. I feel a little bit like excited to go but a bit overwhelmed like oh what are we supposed to take what if we get there and we haven't got something we need obviously there are extra things we need to pack now like masks and things I think I'll feel a lot better when I know it's all packed but right now I'm feeling a mixture of excited but also that kind of weird feeling because it will be the first time we've been away honestly I can't wait to go but re-entry into the normal world it's a bit weird isn't it it's a bit strange I will definitely feel better when I know I've packed and by talking it through with you I'll know I've done it properly even though we are only going for one night there are six of us. I'm going to use this case that I bought and reviewed in this video over on my Mummy of Four Does Disney channel because we are going on a Disney cruise this summer and we needed some nice big luggage. But for this trip, I believe we have to take towels, which we wouldn't have to take on a bigger trip um, because there is a pool there. I am waiting for confirmation as to whether we're supposed to take towels or not. But I'm gonna pack towels until I hear otherwise. And also at the time of filming this and when we're going away, we live in Wales, we're actually going to be going away the weekend before indoor dining opens, which is a bit of a pain because the Welsh weather is a bit uh, iffy. So it could be glorious or it could be downright disgusting. So we're actually going to take blankets to put over our legs and things, I think, just in case the weather is a bit iffy because we will be eating undercover, so that's not gonna be an issue at all, but we might be a bit chilly. And I've got some lovely outfits planned out, but they're kind of summery, so I don't know whether I also need to pack some more wintry things. So I almost feel like I need to pack wintry stuff and summery stuff and blankets and towels, and that's why I got such a big case, okay? And there is next of us. There are a few kind of main categories of things that I have to organise for this packing. I need to organise toiletries and then when that's kind of done once then that will just be thrown in every time we go anywhere. I need to do my electronics bag which is a little bit more than most people would take when they go away electronics wise because of what I do for a living. And a lot of people actually ask me when I say that what is it that you do for a living Ray? Well I do this. <laughs> I actually do YouTube and my blog and Instagram full time for a living. So I, I always assume that people know that and then I always get a comment going yeah but what do you do for a living this is what I do that's why I have so much kit and stuff so obviously on top of like normal person electronics like chargers I will also need to take battery chargers for my camera lights tripods that kind of thing I think we're going to be able to take a small bit of footage when we film for the vlog in the swimming pool area again I'm going to wait for confirmation on that because some swimming pools you're allowed to film obviously I don't want to film anyone else but some swimming pools you're allowed to film and some you are not so then I will have to take my GoPro camera as well so I just need to make sure I've got kind of that kit sorted then and obviously there's swimwear for swimming and clothes. I think I'd better stop gassing to you lot and get on with it. Right, electronics. In here we have a bag for chargers and things. So this is a multi USB charger, really, really handy. And I've got one lightning cable in there. So I'm gonna fill these up with lightning cables. I also need a watch charger for my watch. And I'm going to need my computer cables and things, but I'm gonna put those in separately because I will probably use my laptop before we go. I normally work from my main desktop computer at home, but I still sometimes do work on the laptop if I'm home alone with the children and my husband's not around and then I'm more likely to work 
in the dining room or the lounge or something. So I, I'm not gonna kind of pack away the laptop yet. I'm currently in a position where the only way I can back up SD cards from my camera, this is a bit of a niche comment, so you can just skip to the next bit if you want. But basically, the only way I can back up my footage from my camera and things is by taking my computer, plugging it in. I need some sort of device that just does it. I know my Canon camera would transfer footage to my phone, but there's just too much footage. I take gigs and gigs and gigs and gigs of it. So I don't know, I need a solution. So if anyone's got any clever solutions, how to uh, back up massive amounts of SD card footage directly onto an external hard drive without a computer, well, let me know in the comments. <sighs> just have to strip off a bit, I'm absolutely boiling. I don't know what is going on with the weather. Part of the time I'm absolutely freezing and then I'm absolutely boiling and repeat on a cycle. I mean, it's currently May, it should be warm. It's not. Right, lightning cables. And I've only got two in there, that's a bit strange. I've got a brand new Apple Watch cable, so that can come with. Oh, I've got an external hard drive cable, so I will pack one of those. Though one of those can be in the kit. More lightning cables. And then, ah, oh, see, this is the hard kind of plug. See, a load of these plugs haven't even got the tape taken off them. Ah, oh, these are the good kind for travel. I think they only come with your watch, but that, that's cool, right? Right, one of those is going in. So in that Amazon haul, I did buy these funny jelly stringy thingies, which are reusable cable ties, which I thought were kind of cool. See, once I've done this little kit, I'm not gonna have to worry about it again, am I? Because it'll just be good to go every time we go away. So let me know, when was the last time you actually slept anywhere other than the house you live in? And are you planning any trips soon? Will you be staycations? Will you be venturing abroad? And does packing seem daunting to you now? Because I must admit, it seems a little daunting to me, but we can do this. We can do this together. We can get it done together. Mmm, look what I found. Loads of the USB cables we used to take everywhere. So I'm just gonna decant these into my cable bag from here into this so they're all neat and tidy and ready to go. You ready to pack? Oh, Zaza, have you come to help me? Oh, sorry, you're not Zara. You're not Zara, who are you? Ariel. Ariel, Ariel has come to help pack with me. Ariel, how are you today? Beautiful. You're beautiful, I mean, you are beautiful. I'm good. You're good. I'm so glad. And you're showing everyone your bracelet that you found in your toy box. It's no, very in pretty. Jewelry, jewelry oh, sorry, box. in your jewellery box. Well, yes. it's very beautiful, just like you, Ariel. Look, do you like these? That's nice. That is nice, isn't it? See? That makes me happy. Let me show you which one I like. Which one you like? I like oh, this you like one. that colour. It's very nice, isn't it? One. So, let's pop all these in here so that we can find them when we go away. We're getting there. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I think that's my electronics kit done. So we've got chargers, multi USB adapters, two Apple Watch cables, one for me, one for my husband, my GoPro cable, and then I've got my camera charger, and that is not the one that I have at my desk in the house. So I've got a travel one just for travel. So all of this stuff we don't need to use at home. It can be packed and forgotten about. There's nothing more stressful than thinking, I must pack my charger last thing before we leave in the morning and then forgetting it. Really good way to ruin a nice trip. So all of this can be closed up, put in the bag to take with her. And then wherever we go, I know I can just grab this bag. It has all of the cables we need. So that's my electronics bag, pretty much sorted onto toiletries. Now the question is, where did I put all the toiletries that I bought after I filmed that whole video? Oh, found them. I do keep some of the toiletries, as I said, in that toiletries backup box, but this is all the stuff that I picked up specifically in that Amazon haul for traveling. So we've got a shower gel, first aid kit, hopefully we won't need that, conditioner and shampoo. Nice coconutty smell, so that it smells like holidays. Then I'm gonna pop in a deodorant for myself, one for my husband. I need to grab one from my son's stash of them downstairs, because I bought him a multi-pack of them a little while ago. I'm gonna definitely pop in some of these hair thingies. And then we've got these toothbrush covers and new toothbrushes. Right. 
so now for my kind of medical stuff i'm gonna put the first aid kit in here and some other bits with it just to kind of keep it all together and this is the pouch i hope i am not gonna have to open so i'm gonna pop in just a few sachets of Calpol 6 Plus, a few sachets of the uh, Undersips one for Zara. In fact, these explode. I'm tempted to put these within something else as well, like a bag within a bag. Okay, that says Apple Watch. We're gonna pick that off, we don't need that. Bung a few of those in. A spoon. I've definitely had these Calpol sachets explode on me before now. It's not a pretty sight. And some of those in like insurance I feel. We have it. We won't need it. The Calpol. We're going to pop some plasters in there as well. I'm going to leave the Calpol just within that. That's the the risky, leaky, drippy one within there. I'm going to put some plasters in. I'm just going to chuck them all in because when my children have a hat, the act of choosing a plaster itself, especially if it's got a character on it, seems to distract them. So nice big selection of those. And then we've got some paracetamol and ibuprofen. I'm gonna take these out of the boxes just so that we're not carrying extra packaging with us. And then that is my kind of medical kit. I hope I do not have to open, but can live in a suitcase and just stay in there for in between trips. So we've now got electronics, medical, and tea as well as general toiletries. We can probably actually put the toothpastes in there, but I like, I like the idea of keeping the toothbrushes separate because there are so many of them and it's sort of a good grab and go. Maybe if you're doing teeth in a separate bathroom, if we're in adjoining rooms or something, and then we can just add whichever toothpaste to go and take that into a separate bathroom if that's the way we're working things. So that is kind of my stuff, I think. So that's electronics, toiletries, that's kind of packing kit. Now we're on to actual stuff we're gonna need for this trip. Now I have actually got this packing checklist that you can download, not sure if you can see that there. So what we're gonna do is put each person's name at the top up here and then tick off all the items that we're gonna need. I definitely feel like we've got to pack for two seasons because every morning I wake up and I think, oh, it's summer today. And then the next day I wake up and I'm like, ah, oh, it's winter today because we live in Wales and that's what happens. So when it comes to packing, I kind of like to pack in packing cubes, but also I prefer to pack by day or event than by person. So the girls clothes especially because they wear matching clothes, I pack those in pairs, so I would pack a little packing case of everything we need to wear for that day, including pants, socks, everything that goes with it per day. So I'm also gonna just pack everyone's pajamas together in one, because then we can pull them out when it's time to change the bed and everyone has got what they need. And then I will pack the stuff for the next day um, in smaller packing cubes. So I'll pack the girls' stuff all together and then the boys' stuff together. We are going too fast, but now I don't know how to stop, but I've been feeling like you're pretty I'm now at the point I get to with most projects, at some point, I'm just losing it, losing the plot. I have got stuff everywhere because I've had to pack the kind of packing kits as well. I just have to keep reminding myself that when we go away next time, it'll be easier because I'll just have to do the clothes. But right now, it's like, uh, 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 send help. 
think what I need to do now is get away the stuff that I finished with. So a lot of this stuff I don't need. The cables can go back downstairs, the toiletries can go away, and then I can see what I've got left to do, which is mostly just a little bit of clothing. I think we're nearly there. Now for clothing. So I've put out the stuff that we're gonna to wear to get there and the stuff that we're gonna to pack to wear the next day. So one to wear, one to pack for my husband, for William, for Dylan, one to wear, one to pack for me, a dress, and then matching ones for the girls. So one for the second day and one to wear. The girls and I have got denim jackets and the boys will put hoodies on. Now this might all fall apart if the weather is shocking because at the time that we're going and by the time you see this, the restrictions will be different, but indoor dining won't be allowed. So if it is freezing, I might have to do a little last minute pack. Or maybe what I'll do, maybe this is what I'll do. Maybe I'll pack a warmer option and a cold weather option. I don't even have to put them all in the case, but I could just have them ready to go. And the boys stuff's fine. I mean, they wear pretty much the same stuff anyway but myself and the girls are gonna need much warmer kind of like leggings and boots and things if the weather is shocking, rather than the floral dresses. I think I've got it figured out for a contingency. So these are the clothes we're gonna wear there if it's reasonably nice. So if it's reasonably nice, I am going to wear a nice summer dress and the girls are going to wear their girls in white dresses with, where are they? Blue satin sashes. Now if it's freezing, we can add leggings under the girls' dresses. I mean the blues don't, they're not perfect, but they'll do. Or maybe I could find white leggings and they can go with the girls' things. And whatever the weather, they've got little white cardigans. Then if the weather is a bit icky, the girls can wear the same dresses because they're wearing kind of the little unicorn boot thingies anyway on their feet, which are downstairs. Um, but they could just add some leggings underneath those and that would work. However, I've got a dress pack that's very much like that. It's not gonna work with leggings and the shoes and things won't work. So for my contingency, if the weather's really gross, I will wear jeans, pack one of these tops, wear the other one, and then I will chuck this little jersey blazer thing over the top. So that's just gonna have to be a judgment call on the morning, because we just don't know what the weather's gonna be doing. Um, so if I go in jeans, then I will wear jeans the next day. And if I go in dresses, I will wear dresses the next day. I've packed everything off this checklist. Anything that's still to go in, I'm writing on the bottom so I can check that last minute. But I feel pretty confident now I've managed to get most of it in. 
If you want to grab the packing checklist, it is part of my Ultimate Mum Bundle, which are just loads of helpful printable resources. There is a link below if you want to join that. You get an email from me once a week with lots of goodies, information, printables, that kind of thing, and obviously the checklist. So let's have a look at exactly what I've packed and then I can tidy up my room. So all these clothes that are going to be put on, or one or the other for me, on the day that we're leaving, I'm gonna hang all those up over there in my wardrobe, just on the end, basically so no one wears any of them in the meantime. And so on that morning, we're not going, what are we supposed to be wearing? Panic, panic, panic. So in here, we've got all the nightwear for the children. We've got the clothes for the boys, the tops, and my husband in there. That one's mine, and that one is the girls for the next day. These are expandable bags. I'll just show you in here. These unfold into massive shoulder bags. Good for if you buy anything or for putting dirty washing in back inside the case so you know that everything's dirty. I mean, it's for one night trips, it's not so bad, but when you go for a few nights and you wanna split things into things that are clean, things that are dirty, that's really good. Or for things that just don't fit into the case, they can go into one of these expandable bags. So I'm gonna tuck them down the side in there and then across here we've just got the toothbrushes and things they will be condensed down when they come out of these little packets all of the toiletries i've just got one thing i need to add into that two things actually my face cream and the razor um, this is all the electronics here we've got more clothing that didn't fit in the other side so all of that is ready to go I probably could fit a lot more in there, but there's no point in overstuffing it, as we are only going for one night. And then all this is swimming stuff. So we've got a towel each, a bather each, and goggles for the little ones. And all that is gonna go into this bag because we're gonna need a bag to take down to the pool to change and things when we go down there. like a bit of an ordeal so glad it's done though because next time i go to pack the toiletries are there or at least they will be when i've added the last couple of bits from my list and all the electronics and the plugs and things they're all there all the chargers so the only thing i need to add we've got a swim kit and the rest of it is my electronic stuff as in my bag with my laptop my camera my batteries check they're all charged and that kind of thing but that's that's kind of separate to packing that's like work techy stuff so now I can just start getting excited about actually going away. So look out for an upcoming vlog very, very soon so you can see where we went on our first ever night away from our new house. We've never been away since moving here because we moved during the height of lockdown. And yes, it's our first trip away from the house for more than a couple of hours, never mind overnight, since lockdown. Last time we went away anywhere was... 2019 i think it was a kiln park we went i will link that vlog um, but that's the last time we went anywhere so that's a really long time ago a year and a half Woof, insane anyway thank you so much for watching and bearing with me if you like this video please give it a massive thumbs up do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when i post new videos every tuesday thursday and sunday at 7 p.m new videos all around me for you to watch enjoy i'll see you guys soon bye